So you got a new Blackstone and you want to know how to clean it. It's very simple. Look, there's so many ways to do it and trust me, if you check online, you'll be able to find something that somebody has how they do it. I used to work in a restaurant and I cooked on a flat top for three years. And, and the restaurant, yeah, we had to clean it every single day. We had to scrub it and everything. But at home, you're not cooking as much on your Blackstone. The same thing, you're probably doing a bunch of burgers and that's pretty much it. So you're not having the high volume of cook as you would at a restaurant. Now, how I do it is I do a quick clean after each use and then periodically I do a deep clean. So today I'm gonna show you how to do both. So no further ado, let's get to cleaning. Since you're here, hit the like and subscribe button and make sure that the notification bell is ring. Check me out on social media. That way you can get notification of all my new recipes. So the best time to clean your Blackstone is when it's still a little warm. I just cooked on it. It's been about five, six minutes since I've had the burners off. So right now what you wanna do is you wanna give it a nice scrape. So since my grease cup is here in the back, you know, basically just put everything over here to the top and just, you know, direct it to the grease cup. Now what I cooked today wasn't completely horrible on the Blackstone. You know, sometimes when you cook other things, you know, it has like sugars and stuff like that in there, it, it makes a mess. So right now, this is just like a, a perfect clean cook. But uh, usually, you know, if you were say to have something that has maybe some type of sauce with the sugar, you're gonna have build up, you know, burnt spots of that sauce somewhere along your Blackstone. But this is pretty much what you wanna look, want it to look like. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of water. You know, as you can see, it's still a little hot, which is fine. Now we're gonna just go ahead and scrape it again. When you scrape, you wanna give a good amount of pressure at a 45 degree angle. As you can see, some, see how some of that fat's coming up, that like grease. You see it starts to like have like a different color of the water. Now they got most of the water off. Now we're gonna just hit it with a dry towel. You can use napkins or paper towels. Me, what I do is I took, I come from a restaurant industry, okay, where I learned how to work a flat top. We clean it every single day and we use towels. You know, in the restaurant they use towels. You're not gonna use a bunch of napkins or paper towels. So what I did is I took one of an old t-shirt and I just cut it into squares. So I have like about five of these. And basically when I'm done with them, I give them a, a wash in some very, very hot water and some dish soap. Every time I use my Blackstone, I use these and I clean them right after I'm done. So just take one of your towels and just go ahead and wipe it down. You know, I did use napkins and paper towels when I first got my Blackstone. It, it left, you know, particles of the napkin and even good grade, uh, paper towels and it still left that material all on the uh, Blackstone, which I didn't like. I never had that problem before. And see, since this is a t-shirt, there's no loose material or anything, and it won't be able to, as long as it's not hot, it's not gonna, you know, damage the, the material of the t-shirt. So we just give it a nice clean. You know, it is still a little hot, so be careful. So once you start getting it full of that water, just uh, either replace it with a different one, you know, a dry one, and then just, you know, continue cleaning. I mean, use whatever you want to use. This is just how I clean my Blackstone. You know, I just hate having to clean up the, 
napkin or paper towel particles on the black stone. That's why I prefer, you know, the cloth over, you know, the paper. But like I said, use whatever you like. So as of right now, if I were to do a quick clean, all I would do from here is apply a little bit of oil and then, you know, wipe it down with another rag. You know, apply a, a nice oil coating around my black stone. But see, after a couple weeks now, you're starting to see, you know, streaks of like the seasoning. You know, you're starting to see a lot of seasoning build up. Every now and then you want to do something else with it. What you want to do is you want to take a cold grade scrub pad. Now, when I worked in the restaurant, we used this every single day. But, like I said, you're not going to be cooking as much food on your Blackstone like a restaurant would. So, periodically what I'll do, and I just recently did this not too long ago. I should have did it, you know, for the, the thing. You know, the purpose of this video is just how to clean your griddle. But periodically what I'll do is I'll take this cold brush when I apply that water you know you want that temperature of the griddle not to be so hot you want it warm because that's gonna allow the fat particles which for this demonstration I'm gonna go ahead and do it you know you got your water you know that first method that I showed you that's just the quick clean you know you just cook something and now you just want to clean up your griddle so periodically when you start seeing a lot of buildup on your griddle you want to go ahead and do this you want to just go ahead and give your griddle a nice scrub. See, I, since I did it not too long ago, you don't see the particles in the water like you normally would. You know, when I cleaned it the other day, you seen that it was lifting up a lot of some of that excess uh, oil that was cooked on there. See, right now, it, it's not showing it. Little spots here and there, you know, a lot, especially like along the edges. You don't want to scrub it too much. Just a light scrub, that's it and not too hard either. You know, it builds up, you do get build up. As you can see on the grill brush, I, it does, it's not a lot, but when I did clean this earlier, you know, the other day, it, it had a lot more excess seasoning from it. But uh, yeah, this is just from probably from today and yesterday's cook. All right, so we hit it with the brush. Now we're just gonna apply a little bit more water. And now we're just gonna take another cloth, you know, cotton cloth and just wipe down all that water off of it. You know, it's still kind of warm. It's not hot. It's not hot anymore, but it is kind of warm. Just wipe it down good. Make sure you get all the water off. That's pretty much it. Now that we got it all, all the water taken off, and everything's you know off of the blackstone, we'll just let it air dry for about five minutes. So I'm gonna give it five minutes, and I'll see you then. So after about five minutes, and it's pretty much dry, you just hit it with just a little bit of oil right there on top. Use your favorite oil. I'm not picky when it comes to oil. I use vegetable oil, olive oil, flaxseed oil if I can get my hands on it. Just give it a nice wipe down. Just put a nice little layer of oil on there. That's it. Our Blackstone is nice and clean and ready for our next use. Well, I hope some of those tips helped you on understanding how to clean your Blackstone. It's not rocket science, it's very easy. And whatever you do, just don't apply any dish soap. That's, what, that's gonna be a problem there. Just use some water, scrape it, and just wipe it down. And apply a little bit of oil at the end, you'll be good to go. So if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that we see future videos just like this and many more. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. I'm not a hard guy to talk to. And if you wanna see some of the stuff that I cooked on the Blackstone, check out these videos. They're very delicious. Hey, I'll be beautiful. Take care.